I was involved in an argument with my own boss and brother over a piece of land. When we tried to solve the problem with the village elders, my other cousin was not really happy. I did not know that he had a bush knife in his side. So he came closer to me and, and I was trying to explain that this piece of land is like this, like this. And then he just swung his bush knife and I, I hit a bush knife slash on my face and the sky is still there. Uh, after two days I picked up my conscience and, and I realized that I was in the hospital. In a traditional time when they used arrows, it, it was only few who were killed and few who died. Now, nowadays, these arrows and bows, they're gone. Now people are using uh, guns only, guns, weapons like this to fight. It's getting worse now while they're using these guns and you know, modern weapons. Traditionally, the local leaders used to have a better control over tribal fights. Their instructions were followed by the fighters, but nowadays they do not have the similar influence over these fighters. The modern weapons are there, the fights are taking place in the middle of the villages and the towns. The control is very difficult nowadays. Tribal fighting is like a small scale war in like we have big wars, people know about big wars in other parts of the world, but they don't know the happening, the experiences, such small scale war, because when fight erupts, they don't care if you are innocent or you are not innocent, but they will still attack you because you are from that tribe, you are from that family. For the Red Cross here, what we are doing now is we have a kind of a new idea. That we have certain drama group that we are using, and up in the Enga, where we are now, uh, we use uh, the drama group from Ambum. They are called uh, Adaya, Ambum Disadvantaged Youth Association. When they stepped into Enga, it told us that uh, there is a program like this we are rolling out throughout the province. So could you help us, step in to help us to do dramas? Myself, I'm a trainer too of this uh, theater group. So I was very interested to train them on the topics that we could disseminate to the people. We were assigned to do, do a drama that is, that is uh, like a dispute over land. That is what is going on around in our place here. The drama team catches the attention of the public and it is easier to draw them uh, into the topic and gradually passing these key messages on the protection of civilians, on public properties, sexual violence and so on and so forth. I feel really happy to disseminate this program to the people with, with my experience in the past. I sometimes give an example of myself to the public that I've been involved in a fight. My God, this injury on my face and the sky is still there. Yeah, I'm really proud to, to tell others that this kind of thing is no good for us in, in, in today's time. <laughs>